Hi, and welcome to The Incredible Life of Cat, where I talk to you about my Bath and Body Works collection, and I'm a Sensi consultant turned hobbyist. This is Sitta. And what, what does Sitta want us to do? We want to... Like and subscribe. And keep watching the videos, and always like and subscribe, please. Please do. Today, we are going to share with you over $500 worth of empty product from just March alone. This is body products? Yes. Yes, this is body care, bath and body works, <laughs> makeup, hygiene. So this is a lot, this is massive. You wanna go grab the bag? Yes, and I'll also grab a cat. <laughs> so I took the regular prices of these items with the item name and put them in a spreadsheet. I will do a screenshot of it on my phone later. Hold on. And I will be putting that somewhere in the video. So um, I gotta get everything together after this, but I want to go through these because I know today is March 30th, but we're gonna be, we're, we're not gonna be finishing anything else, I think today or tomorrow, so. Let's get going. Let's get to, into it. We've got the Strawberry Soda Fine Fragrance Mist. This one, it's a little bit tart for me. I kind of struggled with it. Um, I think I got down actually to like right here and used the rest as a room spray, but I probably won't be repurchasing it. I don't know if anybody noticed, but I leave a teeny tiny bit right there. And fine fragrance mist, I do keep some of the bottles of, so I can go back and smell them again if I want to compare them to something, but that doesn't always happen. So I am putting this in the bag, but everything in this bag, I need to take pictures of it anyway. And then we've got Hello Sunshine, which was white tea and sage foaming hand soap. I didn't really care for this. It was a bit strong in my opinion. It's not something I would normally pick for myself knowing that now. Um, it came with a Mother's Day bundle last year. So not getting that one again. If I get it in another bundle or as a gift or something, I'd probably gift it to someone else. <coughs> We finished Gingerbread Latte Shower Gel. This was one that where I had finished the lotion. I still have the Fine Fragrance Mist, but we went ahead and finished this up with some bubble baths for little Miss Sitta here. <laughs> and there was Juicy Peach Soft Soap Hand Soap. This one, um, that's just water in the bottom for me rinsing it. <laughs> trying to smell it. It smells pretty good. Um, I wouldn't mind buying this one again. I think I might have more of it actually, but it is pretty good. And then, oh, I forgot to wipe this off. Here, wipe that off. Where are the Clorox? They should be over there. Um, we've got Dream in the Sky, Fine Fragrance Mist. Uh, the Fine Fragrance Mist, I still have a little, I don't even think there's a little bit in there, so I'm probably gonna toss this one. I do like it, but I probably wouldn't buy it again because it's not as good as some of their other gourmand fragrances for me. <clears throat> we finished a lavender and chamomile hand soap. This was in the kitchen. I took the top off and I think probably sometime next week I will be showing you why. Um, this one was nice, pretty strong on the lavender, but it was really nice. So I wouldn't mind buying this again if I happen to see it in the store. Missing a top for this, but I do, I have a tendency, like if I'm missing lids for other ones or sprayers, I will take them off of original or ones I'm finished with. This is strawberry pound cake. It is done, done, done. It is a favorite of mine. It will always be like one of my number one fragrances. So that's good to go. Crazy, <laughs> this is 100% acetone nail polish remover from Up and Up. Um, I don't really have a lot to say about this one. It was pretty typical. I did a good job, so I'm not going to fight with it. This was Bath and Body Works Aromatherapy. This is the body cream for sleep. Uh, let's see the notes on it. Does it give the notes? It's lavender and vanilla. I know that. It's nice. Uh, I, I'm not really huge on like the lavender, but the vanilla kind of calmed it down a little bit. I probably would purchase this one or possible upcoming aromatherapies in the future. So it wasn't bad, but it wasn't a favorite either. So this is kind of a maybe. 
This is Bali, Bali Coco, Black Coconut Sands Fine Fragrance Mist. I finished the rest of the set a few months ago and it was like down here. So I just used the rest of it as a little room spray for a little bit. So this one is done. I can still kind of smell it, but I'm probably gonna keep the bottle on it because I really like the artwork and in case it comes back again. The Sephora Watermelon Cleansing Wipes. I don't know where the pink came from. Um, I said that I think when I was doing my project to use it up. I didn't really care for these at all. I mean, they didn't do a whole lot. They weren't very moist when they were brand new. And they just did, I had to add micellar water to get makeup off my face. So they didn't do that great of a job. So I probably am not gonna buy these again. And I'm gonna tell you it's probably not a great idea. And we have the Aromatherapy vanilla, Lavender Vanilla Sleep uh, Shower Gel and Foaming Bath. This one did pretty good. I used it, Siddy used it, and I think her dad did too. <laughs> when A couple times when he wanted to take a bath when his back was hurting. It wasn't bad. Um, like I said with the other aromatherapies, I want to try some new ones, so I might try this one again. I don't know. We've got a pink Dove Bar, and it's doing what it's supposed to do. I mean, there's nothing, I didn't notice anything in particularly fabulous about it, but it does its job. It cleans us, you know, when we need to be cleaned. So we have an empty one of those. I use it. We both use it. We have an empty melatonin sleep five milligram extra strength. For me, that's, I have to take two of these. That's not extra strength. I gotta um, take half. Yeah, she only takes half of one. They weren't bad. They're the kind that dissolve in your mouth. They were strawberry flavored. And again, they did what they were made for and helped us fall asleep. Fast. And we have Scentsy Persian Lime and Sandalwood Body Wash. The body wash, I would buy again in this fragrance. The lotion, I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> She just sprayed herself. I don't know if you guys can see that. She just accidentally sprayed herself with what was left of her shaving cream. Um, yeah, this, I mean, I don't mind their body washes, but you need to go clean yourself. Don't do it with one of those wipes, honey. Go, go get, a, there's paper towels on my desk. Um, Persian lime and sandalwood. Yeah, I totally lost track there, sorry. Um, <laughs> It was good, the fragrance was good in here. It was better than the cream, so I'd buy the, the body wash again, but probably not the cream. I am so dumb. <laughs> no, you're fine, you're not dumb. I do stuff like that. <laughs> We've got Christmas cookies, body lotion. I can't stop laughing at now her. My, now my hair's gonna smell pretty. Your eyebrow, there you go. Um, Christmas cookies, body lotion. This was absolutely delicious, and yes, I would buy this one again. And we've got the uh, skin to mint moisturizing that shave I gel me. that I sprayed, that sprayed herself with. This was good, I guess. You know, I only, this moved with me over here. I didn't even know it was used. And mm -hmm. I was taking a bath and I shaved like one leg Then I had to sit there and yell for her dad to bring me more shaving cream. And yeah, no, but. This was okay, I guess. I, I, I don't remember it, to be honest. I think all my glasses and I have to use it for. Mm. Yeah. Ah, the Banana Truly Nourishing Hair Mask. I liked the fragrance for this, but I really did not feel like it did anything for my hair. You're fine. Um, so I wouldn't really suggest getting this one. It, it didn't do anything for my super dry hair, so. We've got Love Ya A Latte with Espresso Foaming Hand Soap. I absolutely love this one and I would purchase it again. It is espresso bean, creamy vanilla, and whipped sugar. Mm -hmm. I was kind of afraid it was gonna smell like the whipped coffee candle from Bath & Body Works, but it did not, so that made me happy. Next, we have my exfoliating bath glove. It works good. I'm actually about to probably change that out tomorrow. Um, I was actually pretty surprised. I was afraid it was going to be like either super too scratchy or weird because it was from the Dollar Tree, but it works really well. Mm -hmm. And I never tried it on 
You can try it on tonight. And I found these in what was left of these in the back of the cabinet. So I finished them. Makeup remover cleansing towelettes from Up and Up. These were always my go-to when we lived right next to a Target. Um, I live about an hour from the closest Target now. So um, if I'm there, I would probably grab some. But otherwise, I'm going with Walmart brand or whatever comes across my plate. Yeah. Okay. Next, we have the Frozen 2 Foam Hand Soap. I did not notice a fragrance for this. Um, I did feel that it it washed my hands fine, so it wasn't an issue. Did you notice a fragrance? What was the fragrance? To me, it was pretty light, but maybe it was just me. But um, it washed my hands just fine, so this one was, isn't bad. Banana, banana. We finished up the Body Shop Banana Body Butter. This one was okay, but I really don't care for body butters. For some reason, the texture of it was so thick, it drove me nuts. So we're gonna have to probably not get this one again. Um, I do have other body butters from them and another banana body butter. Um, we're gonna have to kind of play it by ear and use it maybe one a month or something like that. We've got Margarita Cupcake Fine Fragrance Mist. This one, it was just way too sweet orange for me. I would not buy this fragrance again. Um, I don't even know if I'm gonna be keeping the bottle for comparison because I really don't wanna buy it again. It was almost nauseating. Um, I finished it, I got all the way down here, so I finished it up as a room spray. Oh, this one actually goes in there. That's not empty. It is empty, but it, it's, it's, I'll, I'll deal with it. We've got the Classic Clean Daily Shampoo from Head & Shoulders. For a while, we were dealing with like dry, dry itchy scalp and um, dandruff. Uh, this helped clear that up for me in situ. Every <laughs> once in a while, I'll use this anyway in the shower. My husband uses it most of the time, even though he has no hair. I guess he uses it in his beard, I'm not sure. But um, I don't don't ask. He makes me buy it and he uses it, so I'll, I'll, I don't know. Um, but yeah, no, this works great. Um, it, I had no issues with it, so would I buy again? I'm gonna buy again because he keeps using it for some damn reason. Um, we've got the warm vanilla sugar shower gel, which I finished up. I think I mixed it with other products. This was good as usual. We've got Murad Environmental Shield Essential C Cleanser. It smelled really nice. It was like an orangey, but it was really, really toned down. But I don't think it's something I would buy because it is super duper expensive for a face cleanser. It made me think of um, the Clean and Clear, the orange one. I forgot what it was called but um, like the morning burst or something, it, it's very similar to that. So I think in my mind, that would probably be a dupe for it. And then we have the Persian Lime and Sandalwood Body Cream. The Scentsy Body Creams are really, really thin, so I don't cut them open. And I did could not pick up very much of the fragrance with this one, so and I didn't really care for like it was like the fragrance was muted coming out of the lotion. It was probably because of the age of it, but I probably would not buy this again. You found the lid? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, these don't go in here either. Yeah. We got it. <clears throat> Why did I find it? Because I didn't move it over yet. Um, I've got Fiji White Sands Gentle Gel Hand Soap. This is one of my favorite hand soap fragrances. And I know that I have it in the candle too. I would love it if they came out with it in the body wash. Next was the Hangover RX Good in Bed by Too Faced. Um, I remember using this a few times when we first moved here, but I found this in a drawer. So I'm, I'm counting it as an empty because I found it in March and it was in a drawer. Um, it worked really well. I wouldn't mind having more of this. I probably wouldn't buy it because of the cost of it, but it was nice. Um, we've got vanilla, warm vanilla sugar. I can't read today. 
fine fragrance mist that I finished up with the shower gel. It was very nice as usual and I might be keeping this bottle for nostalgia reasons just to say I have a bottle this old. This is uh, I think from about 2012. <clears throat> I've got Boardwalk Vanilla Cone Gentle Foaming Hand Soap. This one was nice. Um, after a while I got a little bored with it but it was still like really nice. Um, to start with at least, there's marshmallow fluff, vanilla bean, and creamy caramel. I probably would buy this again, but only use it like once in a while. Like not put it out consecutively if I had more than one. But we still used <clears throat> it up. Yes, we did. I finished up a vanilla bean Eos lip balm. This one I found in the car and it was most of the way done, so I finished it. That is a weird name for I, I didn't make up the name, honey. Um, there is a Lip Smackers Scary Cherry. This one made me think of Freddy Bear, so I went ahead and finished this one up too. And I've also got a Roller Lash by Benefit. This was nice. I would buy this one again. I think I actually have a full size of it. So I felt that um, it did a really nice job and I kind of like the curved wand on it. Next, we've got a Sephora Mask Trio. Um, I used up the last one in here. I think it was the pink one that I used last. The first two, I will honestly tell you, I don't remember when or where I used them, but I did finish this one up. Next, we've got Warm Vanilla Sugar, which is always on my list for the handbag. It was a very nice one. And we also have the Champagne Toast, which I believe I used when I was using Champagne Toast. This is also a good handbag. <clears throat> the Foaming Sugar Scrub Unicorn Dreams. This is from Onyx Bathhouse. This was nice. It isn't very coarse, but it's foaming. And I used it on our feet doing a pedicure. I used it on my hands doing a manicure. Um, I used it on my husband's feet. He has very, very sensitive feet and skin. She keeps laughing about it and so does she. So this worked really well. So I am gonna keep buying Onyx Bathhouse ones because they do work. The tiny eyebrow pencil. I finished the teeny tiny goof proof brow pencil from Benefit. I finished that. It took like two of them it's to okay. finish it. Okay. And I used the Tatcha okay. Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. This was okay, I guess. Um, to be honest, I got like two uses out of it, so I really didn't feel any changes to my skin. Next was the sugar cookie chapstick, which was one of my favorites. I also like the uh, vanilla latte one too. I finished up the strawberry pound cake, um, body cream and moisturizing body wash. These were both very nice and I would definitely purchase them again. <clears throat> um, I finished a mini or travel size champagne toast body cream. This one was nice, but I was starting from February, starting to get kind of sick and tired of champagne toasts. So that one goes. And this was the full size gel that we finished up most of it in February and finished up the rest in March. <clears throat> this was the bottle, the sticky sticky bottle that I actually used for um, the Lush what was the name of the fragrance? Oh, not Sleepy, but um, the Lush Twilight that I put in here. I put it in two different bottles of travel-sized ones, and it kept sticking them up and gooing them up, so I'm not buying the Lush stuff again. The Lush uh, spray. The Sleepy Shower Gel I did use, and that was nice. I would love to buy it again, but I'm, I guess I'm just going to buy the lotion and not use the spray with it. So We've also got... I know there's more, huh? Champagne toast mm -hmm. pocket all back, all another one. That's all of it? Mm -hmm. Wow, I'm pretty surprised. We've got the Shea Butter Hand Repair Cream from Burt's Bees. I have this in a large size too. This is really nice and it works well on my hands, especially if you put it on at night before you go to bed. She's making Fred scream. <laughs> We've got Barefoot Venus Black Coconut Lotion. This was okay. We used this for our feet in the morning. 
Um, after I've taken a shower and when she's getting ready for school, we all put, um, <clears throat> put lotion on our feet before we put socks on so we don't get too dried out. And also I finished a strawberry pound cake um, hand cream. We got stuff falling. I finished a Pure Seduction Fragrance Mist from Victoria's Secret. This one I probably would not purchase again only because I didn't really care for the fragrance now. I think me like five years ago liked it, but me now, I really didn't care for it. I felt like it was overwhelming and strong and everything else. And I, I still have the lotion, which I guess I'm gonna use on our feet. The lotion is super, super thin and highly fragranced. And I don't mind using it on feet, but it's not something I would wanna use on a daily basis. We've got the Kawhi Scalp and Body Scrub. Okay, this, Kawhi or Kawhi? I, I don't know how to say that right. <laughs> you want me to read it? No. Um, this is a bonus. I found this in the drawer when I was cleaning out the other bathroom and used the last tiny little bit of it. I didn't like need it. Like the whole bathroom? Yes, you, one of your aunts left it, so I used the rest of it. Mm -hmm. um, I use the cup of coffee face and body mask. This is my favorite and I do this every single morning. Starting next month, I may change that a little bit because I have a different mask to finish up from Lush. But it's still going to be my favorite, even though it's gone up in cost. Next up is the pinky camera. It's coming. I'm doing this one first. I pretty much finished up. I know it looks gross, huh? This Minnie Mouse Lip Smacker Stackable. And the flavor is Strawberry Lollipop. So now Miss Sitta will be able to play with this when I'm done taking pictures. Ooh, ooh. We finished a strawberry soda body cream from Bath and Body Works. I kind of struggle bust it with this one uh, during February, so I was able to finish it up in March. And the more I used it, the more I seemed to like it. I don't know that I'd buy it again. I might, but if I bought it again, I'd probably buy it for a comparison and probably just the mist and not the whole set. And might just give it to Sita because it's a little too tart for me. Um, finished up Puffy I Attack Turbo Boost Hydrogel from Soap and Glory. This, I would have to say, this these are products, a lot of them that are already opened. It was okay. It wasn't anything to like really write home about. I think there's probably better products out there for the same price. This was, I think, 11 bucks or something. Mm -hmm. Next is a mini, The Professional from Benefit Cosmetics. Mm -hmm. This works nice. Um, I like it. I thought about buying it in the larger size. I haven't made up my mind yet. Um, I actually probably should have cut it in half. I know it's tiny to cut in half, but you would be surprised what you can find in these. Um, it works good. I'd probably buy it again, but I think I have some other miniature ones that I need to use up anyway. <laughs> we finished a uh, travel sized warm vanilla sugar body lotion. And this one was good as always. It's one of my favorite fragrances, so. And last but not least, the Pixie Glow Tonic Skin Treats. This stuff is really super nice and I wanna get the large size. I just kind of haven't gotten around to it. I'd rather just walk into a Target and buy it, but Target's like an hour away. So next time I go to Bath & Body Works, I might set aside some cash so I can go grab this and a few other things from Target. But that is if you go full retail price, not the price that I paid because I'm always looking for a sale or using a coupon or mm -hmm. something, that is over $500 worth of product. I listed the full size, not the full size prices, but the full prices for them. Um, there's a few that I just could not find online, so I went with my best estimate for them for like the miniature type of stuff. But full prices, it comes to over $500. That's a lot of product. I don't think I'm gonna be reaching that amount next month, but if I do, I do. I am gonna track next month. And also some of the stuff that I went and tossed away and said, no, this doesn't go in this one, are gonna be household empties, which includes cleaners, candles, wallflowers, uh, not all of my Scentsy bars, because I just know I'm not gonna hold on to all those. I always have so many, but some of some Scentsy products that I use around the house to clean with, things like that. Sensi Fresh. But anyway, that was my $500 worth of product. This is Freddy Bear and he's very grumpy. Don't Man. worry, he's not afraid. He always looks like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is my giant 
old trash bag full of empties. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this video or got some joy if you made it this far. And me and Sina will be posting this tomorrow. So that makes me pretty happy. And I got this at Danny Jennerhead. She wanted to show you her little choker necklace thing. Yeah. And um, yeah, so we're going to go take some pictures and clean out the bag and do all that fun stuff. So we will please, be... Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we will be talking to you soon. Bye.